Hi, my name's Katie. Welcome to FB Creates and I make stuff. Whoa! Hello? Can I pet you? Oh. Look at delish. Stephen, where are we? We're at the gorge. Snack bar at the gorge. <laughs> What's the gorge? Um, yep. The gorge. Um, I, it's the Kichi Gorge. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hi! Welcome to my one year video. I'm very proud of myself. As of this time, one year-ish ago, I started my YouTube channel, FB Creates. Thanks for following along for the ride. I'm so excited you're here, and I'm so excited to see what you made. But let's see what I made. Also, look at this cute alpaca. Oh my goodness. Cutie patooties. Look at that booty. We stopped at a toy museum on the way up. And it was very cool, very creepy. Yeah, baby. Saw some things in there, like a DS. Like, come on, that's not that old. I really hope it's not that old, because I don't need to be reminded I'm old. Now, the real reason you all came here, the art. This year, instead of watercolors, I brought gouache, water-based gouache, water gouache, um, not acrylic gouache, because your girl loves me some opacity. And quick drying water soluble ink, pigment, paint, what a win. Have I touched gouache since? No. Because I immediately forgot about it the second I got home. But let me tell you, it was a really good medium to use for this project. Because I could mix the colors and I could overlap them and then walk away from the project when I got frustrated. And the colors would still be there ready to be reactivated when I came back. Also, the fact that the colors dried either darker or lighter really made me think on my toes as to how to add these colors because honestly I didn't do any swatches I just went for it on the spot and I would walk away and then I'd come back and it'd be a whole different color and you know what we figured it out we worked on it we tried our best and I would say we succeeded I will say I was nervous because my experience last year with all the greens and different shades of green of the trees, of the forest, of the reflections. I still don't get it. I still don't get it. But I'm better. And that's a win for me. I was having a really hard time with colors, so I was really trying to push value and 
Like, if something was dark green, I was like, I'm going to make it cool and dark and push it back. And then the things in front, I was going to make super light and yellow. Because that would really help exaggerate the emphasis between them. I... Wow. Yeah, this is the view I was drawing. So you can see up front that some of the trees were lighter. And then the ones behind it were darker. And then the sky was just illuminating. Oh, nature is so cool. Hello, here at the Creates at a roast. <laughs> major difference between this time and the last time is quality over quantity last time i was trying to fill up 60 pages in 10 days and this time i came with a limited number of paper and I said I'm gonna try my best to make these as good as I can make them and I succeeded I would say about 75% of the time and that's win take the W but it also gave me the opportunity to go back and revisit pieces that I wouldn't have last year like I would have just moved on from this piece and like been like okay I filled up a page but now I had the chance to go back and look at it and add some water and smooth it out and see what I wanted to change. And I think it turned out pretty great. My two main focuses for this week were the land in front of me, the a plain air paintings, and birds. There is this awesome book about Sibley's guide or whatever. He does a ton of really cool illustrations. And after the sun went down and I had to come inside, or it was raining or something, I pulled out this book and drew some birds. I put that frame around it and left some space at the bottom so they would look like Polaroids. And they're pretty freaking cute. Birds are cool as heck. They are diverse, like long legs, short legs, long legs, long beaks. I don't know. Also, this guy, his beak turns up at the end. And he just looks so stupid. I think it's because when they have their wings folded in, they look like they don't have arms. And I just think that's adorable. Here's what I was saying. Like, these pieces where I would sit outside, I moved around the space a lot. Like, there are these two trees in front of me, and I sat next to them, I sat behind them, I moved where I was in relation to them. Because I didn't necessarily want the trees itself, but like the essence of the tree. That sounds so pretentious, but I know I'm not a realistic painter. I don't like it. It's not my jam. But I still want to get the tree. And I want to get the colors of the tree. And I want to be able to see the tree for what it is. Again, who am I? I don't know, but I do know that I like this tree.
here's the really cool thing about projects like these where you have the same subjects in front of you for days on end in different lightings. I hated this tree. I was really upset that I didn't put a tape border around it and so it doesn't look the same like all the other pieces. But this ended up being my favorite tree because the red mulch at the bottom is fun as heck and then I found this gray green purple I don't even know if that's a color but it was the perfect tree color it was beautiful it somehow does somehow ended up being the exact right color needed for this tree and this tree turned out to be my favorite so happy little accidents as Bob Ross would say I thought I was a failure because I didn't finish all the pieces I wanted to. I made a lot of landscapes. I did a lot of paint sketches. I don't know what they're called. But my bird drawings, I just didn't do. And so I came home and normally I would be defeated and like, I didn't finish it. I'm going to put it away in a box and forget about it forever. But always think about it in the back of my head as a failure. And then I said, nah. You're fine. You're Gucci. Just finish them. Like, it doesn't matter if you weren't on vacation. You drew them on vacation and, like, you got the idea, so just finish it up. And that's what I did. And I think doing them at home gave me a lot more freedom to sit down with my supplies because even if I don't necessarily feel it in the moment, it's hard to make art in front of other people. It's you still got that self-consciousness in front of you of like they're watching what I'm doing even though they're probably not and I think that's just my life I am a self-conscious little bean but you know who's a cutie bean this bird I love him stupid little feet stupid little bird doesn't give up a, a bird oh god bless birds